Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for returning if you are already a subscriber. If you're new, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and welcome to our family. My name is Chrissy Marie and I am going to be doing a deep cleaning today of both of my daughter's rooms. They have separate rooms and we have a nursery for baby Layla and a toddler big girl room for Shukri Marie. So I usually start in their rooms by doing the laundry, getting everything off of the bed and getting all of their towels and coats and anything else that needs to be washed, pretty much all the laundry in their rooms and their bathroom and getting the laundry started. I am also 25 weeks pregnant with my third baby girl in a row, so please bear with me. Cleaning these little girls' rooms should have taken an hour or two hours at the most, but this literally took me all day long. <laughs> When I start my cleaning routines, doing the laundry, I feel like I am well on my way to doing something really productive and I will have a successful day. Does anyone else start their cleaning routines with the laundry? Let me know in the comments how you start your cleaning routine. My next steps is heading into baby Layla's nursery and wiping down her dresser and any other surfaces in her room with some dapple lavender spray that I found at TJ Maxx. It's a really light, fresh smelling florally lavender scent. I really like it. It smells fresh and crisp and I've been using it for the past couple of months when I run out of my Mrs. Meyers lavender scent all purpose spray. Now I am taking some Method glass and surface cleaner and wiping down her little table that has a mirror on it and there's also a couple of other little mirrors on that table that I am also wiping off. There are little fingerprints everywhere in my house. <laughs> How do I stop it you guys? How do I stop it? So now I am picking everything up that can be picked up in her room, her rugs, her little garbage can, her laundry hamper, her blanket ladder with blankets on it, and anything else that is going to be in the way of the vacuum cleaner because I'm going to get ready to vacuum. Moving on into Shook's room, I am getting her room also ready to be vacuumed and continuing to Windex and wipe things down. I'm still using my Method Glass and Surface Cleaner and the scent Mint. I love that scent for cleaning glass and other surfaces in our home. And how do you like that big dresser right there in the corner? I just rearranged her room. I moved her um, dresser and her whole bed. I moved everything around. I think I like it better the other way, but I have no energy to put everything back to where it originally was. So I think the last thing that I am going to do is move that big white dresser that's in the corner into her closet because it's so bulky and it's just kind of out of place. It's hard for us to open up those drawers when we need to get her pajamas and pants that are in there. So yeah, her closet's pretty big, so I think I'm going to move that dresser into her closet. Mm -hmm. 
how do you like my massive water bottle jug? I got that from Marshalls for $6.99 and I try to drink the recommended amount for a pregnant woman daily of water. So when I fill that up three quarters of the way and drink it all day, sometimes I'll drink two of them, but that's pretty rare. But um, that just ensures that I get my water intake that I need for being five months pregnant. And another thing, let me just tell you, this new vacuum that I have, this Dyson V8 Animal that I got from Costco for $100 off, yes sir, $100 off, it is so much more convenient and easier than my big ol' shark vacuum that I was lugging around, bending over to try to pick up the cord, being uncomfortable, being so big and pregnant. This is so convenient. So I am really glad and happy. It was so worth the investment for getting this little tiny piece of rechargeable equipment. I love it, hands down. I don't know why I didn't get one of these earlier. If you're thinking about getting a Dyson, totally get one. It's cordless, there's no cords, you don't have to keep bending down. My back doesn't hurt nearly as much as when I vacuumed with my shark. So. Thanks babe for letting me get this. I love you. Um, this is definitely saving my back and making me a whole lot comfortable cleaning. I actually kind of like to clean right now. So yeah, again, the Shark V8 Animal. Praise the Lord. I love it. So the laundry got done like three or four hours ago. <laughs> um, it's been sitting in there for like three hours, just done waiting for me to change it into the dryer. But the point is, is that I changed it and I am getting ready to fold and put away some of the other girls' laundry. And um, yeah, it'll kind of give me a little break also. It's like four o'clock now, so I'm getting my Judge Judy on. Yeah, that's right. After editing this video and watching all this footage of me in my Adidas tank that I just thought was popping on me, I think I'm gonna retire it or give it to somebody else because it's super unflattering on me and it just kind of makes me look a little bit blobbish, I'm kind of noticing. So maybe I shouldn't get an extra large next time. Anyway, so I am sorting the girls' laundry. There's a lot of their PJs in there and there are also a lot of things that need to be hung up. I love the smell of fresh laundry. Um, what routine or like what products do you guys use in your laundry routine? I have three like special forced secrets that I love to use and I use them all together and my laundry smells so fresh. I love it. Let me know what combinations of product you use when you do laundry in the comments. I would love to know. I really need to do an organizing video of the girls' accessories and clothes because Layla's closet and Shukri Marie's closet are like just straight up getting out of hand. Let me know if you guys would like to see an organizational video for toddlers and babies. Look, do you see what I mean? I can't even open the dresser 
drawers because the bed is right there. So I definitely think I need to move that dresser for sure. So every time I do laundry, there's like tons of mismatched socks. I don't know what happens to their socks and how they become mismatched. But I think I want to get one of those mesh zippered bags and put their smaller items in the laundry bag when I do laundry, like their socks, so they won't get lost. So the laundry is finally done and I am getting Shook's bed all cozy and ready for her. And she even notices like when she gets into bed after I do laundry, she's like, mommy, I love my bed. Like she just completely notices and she sleeps super good. There's nothing better than clean sheets and going to bed. So almost done putting Layla's crib sheet on her crib mattress. Does anyone else struggle putting their crib sheets on their baby's mattresses? Those suckers are hard to put on. They're kind of hard to get off too actually. But anyways, yeah, I'm almost done getting everything put together, putting their coats back and their towels. Ah, love it. If you can call me to me so we're all done super rewarding so glad I took the time to deep clean their rooms the room smells so good and fresh and everything is in order and they are ready for bed I am going to be doing room tours of Layla's nursery and Shukri's big girl toddler room here pretty soon so if you like this video please give us a thumbs up like I said before if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing I would love to have you join our family thank you so much you guys and have an awesome rest of your week bye